Hello everyone, this is Will from Apple 121. Today we're going to talk about storage on your Mac. I recently ran into an issue and I wanted to clear some room around. So I'm going to go over a couple of things that you can do on your machine in order to get your storage back and save room. I want to thank you very much for always subscribing to our content and checking out all of the amazing videos that we produce for you. And I hope that the items that we talk about today will be very helpful for you in the future. Our goal here is to go through the storage of your Mac because Unlike a lot of people like me, especially who pay for like the largest storage, you may not have all the room you need on your computer. Now I am a video editor, so that definitely requires me to have a bigger hard drive, but I literally shelled out another thousand dollars to get this four terabyte drive, which I had the opportunity to go up to eight. What I will say, is if you buy one of the cheaper Macs with the standard storage, you are gonna deal with a lot of issues regarding storage. So I'm gonna go through some things that you could do to help you out, what room is left, and some of the things you could turn on in your settings that could help you out. A couple of rules that I have on my own computer is number one is I have a time machine backup, which is up here on the top right, which I have time machine turned on. And my last backup was July 16th. I'm going to recommend that you always do a backup. You should have an external hard drive external ssds right now are very cheap you could buy one for 200 dollars or look for sales for them i'm going to strongly recommend that you get that because anything we're about to do is going to remove stuff from the machine so i would strongly recommend that you do that all right looking through this computer you can see what takes up the majority of my room and we are in the storage settings under general so you would go there by going to the apple system settings which will then bring you to here we can go to general and then now we're going to go through and decide how we can alleviate some room here. So when you first go into this view, it'll calculate the storage for you. So right now I have 185 gigs available. And now the idea is I'm going to go through and get rid of things. So applications are the biggest drive. Everything is, is taking up the most room in here. When I open this up, it tells me now what takes up the most room and what items that you can go through and remove in here. So if there are applications that you no longer need, you can go in here and remove them. So what I'm going to start off with is probably some older apps. So I have like this Intel based software updater app that's taking up this amount of gigs. So what I'm going to do is hit delete and delete and then it removes it from the computer entirely and then you can go through and keep doing that over and over for anything in here that you absolutely don't need on your machine so go through and see what apps you need and what you don't need and it'll help you alleviate some room you can also open the applications if necessary going down the line we have all these different items in here and this is iCloud Drive so if I go to the i it's telling me that I'm using 10.80 three gigs of storage files and folders kept offline are using 7.99 of storage how that works is with iCloud Drive is I have it set up to optimize now if you don't have iCloud Drive which I'm going to strongly recommend you do but if you don't have it everything stays on the computer where iCloud Drive I can remove things going to finder you can see all these items have clouds on them so that's how you know what's not in your computer and what is if I go to something like my household items and I want that to always be there because right now it's on a cloud, which means it's not downloaded. I could just do the two finger click, go to keep downloaded, and that'll now keep this folder permanently on my computer, no matter what. If I was to do download now, it would download it now, but down in the future, it could go away. So iCloud Drive is going to be very valuable, especially if you have a small gig storage. I'm going to say that if you have one of these smaller amount of storage, a 200 gig probably storage drive is probably the best thing. Use Apple One if you can. One of the things you'll see here is called iOS files. Now what this is, is it's backups of my stuff. So you can go through and see what items you want to back up. And you can see that this is kind of old. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this phone because it's not mine, it's somebody else's. In fact, I don't know what any of these are. And because my iPhone backs up with iCloud, I don't need that. When I was in the Apple store and people back in the day were not using iCloud yet and were not, didn't have the room for the backup storage, they would have to physically plug in and actually put the backups on the physical computer. So that's what I always had to tell people is check your computer, check the room here and find out what room is being taken up. And back in the day in the storage section, this wasn't even here. You would, it, it was so hard to find it. But now they make it easy. So you can go through and delete backups and items that you don't need 
And that's what iOS files are. It's all backups of all your iOS devices. So you can see as I go through here, I have a lot of things. One of them is called music creation. Music creation is actually all the instrument libraries that I got when I worked at Apple. They had this big library of content. It's about 50 gig. It's really big uh, for loops and GarageBand. It uh, has all these different soundtracks on it. So I always keep that on there. I like having that because it's going to be very hard to re-get it again. But you can get it again if you wanted to online. Photos also is set up with Optimize as well. So that feature is also turned on right now where there, I have a lot more photos in my actual iCloud. Finally, let's go to Apple TV. And right now it says I have 10.68 gigs of, of uh, in there. But what's really interesting is what I don't understand is I don't see them on here. And why don't I see them in this list? So I went to TV and I'm going to download it. And that's these items right here. This is actually like Jersey Shore and the Lost World. So these are downloaded right now. So if I, for some reason, this app didn't see this. So what I'm gonna do is I opened it up. I'm gonna go to Jurassic World and I'm going to delete from library. And because it's deleted, I'm gonna delete it from the machine because I, I and I'm gonna move it to trash. And then that will alleviate some room in here. So that's all the downloaded content that I have, and that should alleviate some room now. You can see my TV went down a significant amount. And that's the most that you could do in the storage section here. But I wanted to go over a few things while you're in Finder. So one of the things I turned on is on the bottom here, I actually always see the amount of gigs that are available. This is actually not a default feature that's turned on. If you go to view, there's three items I wanna go through here and really two of them, the path bar and the status bar. So the path bar is this down here. It's showing you the path of where this is. I love having this on. If I was to turn it off, then you would no longer see the path. I think the path is very valuable because it educates you where you put things. And I think you need to know where that is. Finally, the last thing is a status bar. The status bar now has disappeared, so you can't see how much room you have left. But if I go in and open the show status bar, now I see the gigs amount. So no matter what folder I go to, once I open it and go through things, it'll tell me what's available on my iCloud. So now that I'm looking at my iCloud, it tells me what's available in my iCloud storage room. This is normally what you see as your default. If you go to view, show view options, and turn on show item info, it'll actually show you some information below it. And because I have the Macintosh HD set up on my desktop, I can see the storage room right here. By default, Apple may not have that on either. So under Finder, you go to Settings, under General, and then you could turn on the items you wanna see on your desktop. So if I turn off hard disk, which typically is off, you could turn it right back on and automatically it goes right and shows you this information, which I think is very valuable. They used to show the Macintosh HD. Now they kind of like hide it. That way people aren't messing around with it. But I would recommend having that on. Finally, I wanted to go over some tips and tricks that you could do with storage. Number one, I have a lot of Final Cut files on here. You could see that the size of this is pretty massive. If I was to go backwards to the movies folder and show you, if I hit Command and I, which will then give me a balance of this. So and now it's telling me this specific folder takes up almost 600 gigs of content, which is a lot. And I have stuff all over the place in here that could definitely t that definitely takes up room that I definitely could use uh, some cleaning on. But this is an example of seeing very high movie files. So this is where an external drive is going to come in. So external drives are very valuable, and you can hook up an external drive to your computer and just drag those items there. It'll copy it over, and then you'll have to remove it from your drive. Again, recommend that you have a backup. That's what I always do, because when I'm done with these projects, I do move them off of this machine, and I put them on another computer or a hard drive. But if that hard drive fails or goes, then I'm kind of screwed. So it's always important that a time machine backup is created in case I have to get it back. Now, one of the last locations I'm going to talk about, which you need to do your research on, but if I go to go and then I hold down the option key and I hit library, library is a hidden file. This is a deep dive into your user folder. And these are things that are small that you can't see, like messages, mail. This is where all that goes. If I was to go to like application support and I do command I, that just tells me there is 2.1 terabytes of application support which is crazy. 
Now, there's a ton of things in here. It's impossible for me to find out where all this stuff is coming from. So the only thing I could really do is find out the size of these folders. And I could just do Command-I, and I'm selecting a whole bunch at the same time. And then it'll just pop up all these different items on my list. And really, you have to go through and try to find out, well, where is all this coming from? I wanted to break this down a little bit because I went through the go and you go to library. And then as you go through all the different sections, I pointed out that the application support folder has 2.1 terabytes of stuff here, which is a crazy amount. And as I go through all those different folders, I wanted to point out some of the bigger ones that you're going to see. Now, I don't recommend going through there and there are other ways to remove it. The, uh, these items, but I wanted to point them out to you. So number one is mobile sync. That's already been addressed as the iOS files that we saw back in storage. So this actually represents, if you go to system settings and you go to storage and you see the iOS files, that matches up to this. So that's what this is. So just so you know what that is and you can address that there. Messages are kind of obvious. These are all the message conversations you have through iMessage. iMessage, you would be shocked at how big that gets, especially with files and stuff like that. So you want to go through your messages and delete stuff. Inside of the messages section, you can go under keep messages for one year or 30 days. And that is, that is how you're going to be able to do that and alleviate some of your room. Mail is kind of obvious. Anything in the Apple Mail app is stored here. And that's all the accounts that you attach to it. So that has to go, you have to go through your mail and remove it. I would not go through this folder. Google, Chrome is a very big file. There's a lot of stuff that we store in there, especially cache, uh, we uh, set up all of our extensions. They take up a lot of storage room. Unfortunately, this is a folder you really don't want to go through. Uh, I wouldn't recommend going in this because it's all connected to it. And I would recommend not removing it. Like it could be pro profile information, which is a pretty big foe. So you really can't go through this. This is the one that really shocked me. 2.1 or 2.9 terabytes of stuff. What the heck is in here? So that is what I wanted to go through and figure out what is all this stuff. And I'm looking through and it's a lot of files, but I don't know like what they're attached to and where they're coming from. And I wanted to research that. I'm like, what is, why is this so big? Now this cloud docs folder is related to iCloud and it looks like it's a sync feature that is in here. And I went through this and I was like, wow, this is this is incredibly massive. Uh, and a lot of this stuff is just movie files uh, that I've recorded. They're just clips. And I'm trying to figure out like, where are all these coming from? These are all like movies I've done. Uh, these are just like individual clips. So it's really interesting. It's like partials of like some of my movies too, which I think is so weird. Where this is coming from. Even stuff I've recorded are all in here. So this is a folder I'm going to have to go through. I will definitely make sure I have a backup made prior to doing this. Heck, I might even copy and paste it to another folder. But to have two gigs of content stored in here where I don't think they have anything to do with anything I'm currently working on is crazy. And I've read online, you know, there's a whole thing online about this uh, for removing these files. And it might, I might even have to make a call to Apple support about it to figure out to make sure what I'm doing is correct. But otherwise, I'm going to, I could just remove it and put it to an external drive and call it a day and, and delete it. It doesn't look like I it will do anything uh, significant to my system. But you can see that going through the application support folder is actually a really big folder. It's bigger than you think. So make sure you go through. And I was always wondering why I have no storage room because I, I have an eight terabyte drive and the amount of content I have on here doesn't match that. So this is why you have to go through your machine try this like once a year where you're going through see what's going on in that library folder and don't do anything unless you really know what you're doing or you research it by the way as i was editing this entire file i actually found out what's going on so any files that did not get uploaded to the iCloud drive, mostly because of size, was related to it. So there's a lot of movies in there that were beyond the 50 gig size, and they don't go up to iCloud. They are X'd out. And for some reason, it kept a copy of it in this section. So as I went through there, I found large files that never made it up to iCloud, and it looks like they temporarily stored them there. And once I removed them, they were gone. So I just wanted to follow up before I upload this, that there was a solution to it. And it had to do with files that never got uploaded to the iCloud Drive, but they were stored somewhere on the in the desktop or documents folder. So that's where it came from. 
So I want, hope this video was very helpful for you for storage. Hope this helps you out. Thank you very much everyone for joining me for this video. I really do appreciate it. And I love every single one of you.